between 10.30 and 11 o'clock that night. And when I got home, my wife was watching the 11 o'clock news. And the lead story uh, on the news that evening was about the murder, tragic murder, uh, uh, of a young police officer at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology at their campus police department, uh, affiliated with their campus police department. His name was Sean Collier. And Cambridge, Cambridge, where MIT is located, is a very safe city. It's very rare to have a murder in Cambridge, and, and even rarer to have a police officer murdered in Cambridge. I thought that was very odd, but I attributed it just to a tragic, uh, random act of violence. But my wife, who was sitting next to me on the sofa watching uh, the news, she said, I bet that's your guys. I bet that your guys did that. I bet your press conference has caused them to go on the run, and I bet they murdered that young police officer on the run the run right now. And I, I, I respected her opinion, but I didn't believe it. I still went to bed that night thinking this is, was completely unrelated to the Boston Marathon bombing investigation. I went to bed, about an hour after I went to bed, I got a call from one of my assistant special agents in charge, Jeff Sillette, uh, who was uh, manning the command post during the evening hours that evening. And he said, boss, wake up, I gotta tell you something. My wife answered the call, answered the phone, handed it to me, and Jeff said, the individuals who murdered that police officer, they're our bombers and they're on the run right now and they're engaged in a firefight with the Watertown, with the Watertown PD and they're hurling more bombs at the Watertown police officers. And I said, holy, you know what. 